Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. Geometric transformations can be distinguished into two types. Active or alibi transformations, which change the physical position of a set of points relative to a fixed frame of reference or coordinate system. Alibi meaning being somewhere else at the same time. And passive or alias transformations, which leave points fixed but change the frame of reference or coordinate. System relative to which they are described, alias meaning going under a different name. By transformation, mathematicians usually refer to active transformations, while physicists and engineers could mean either. For instance, active transformations are useful to describe successive positions of a rigid body. On the other hand, passive transformations may be useful in human motion analysis to observe the motion of the tibia relative to the femur, that is, its motion relative to a local coordinate system which moves together with the femur, rather than a global coordinate system which is fixed to the floor. In three-dimensional Euclidean space, any proper rigid transformation, whether active or passive, can be represented as a screw. Displacement, the composition of a translation along an axis and a rotation about that axis. The terms active transformation and passive transformation were first introduced in 1957 by Valentine Bargman for describing Lorentz transformations in special relativity. Example as an example, let the vector v equals v1, v2, is an element of r2, be a vector in the plane. A rotation of the vector through an angle theta in counterclockwise direction is given by the rotation matrix. r equals cosine theta minus sine theta sine theta cosine theta, which can be viewed either as an active transformation or a passive transformation, where the above matrix will be inverted, as described below. Spatial transformations in the Euclidean space are three in general A. Spatial transformation T. R3, R3 may consist of a translation and a linear transformation. In the following, the translation will be omitted and the linear transformation will be represented by a three by three matrix T. Active transformation as an active transformation. T transforms the initial vector V equals VX, VY, VZ, into a new vector V equals VX, VY, VZ, equals TV equals TVX, VY, VZ. If one views X equals T100, EY equals T010, EZ equals T001, if has a new basis, then the coordinates of the new vector V equals VXEX plus VYEY plus VZEZ in the new basis are the same as those of V equals VX. EX plus VY, EY plus VZEZ in the original basis. Note that active transformations make sense even as a linear transformation into a different vector space. It makes sense to write the new vector in the unprimed basis as above, only when the transformation is from the space into itself. Passive transformation on the other hand, when one views T as a passive transformation, the initial vector V equals VX, VY, VZ is left unchanged, while the coordinate system and its basis vectors are transformed in the opposite direction, that is, with the inverse transformation T minus 1. This gives a new coordinate system XYZ with basis vectors. EX equals T minus 1, 1, 0, 0, EY equals T1, 0, 1, 0, as równitko T1, 0, 0, 1, the new coordinates. Vix, Vipsilon, Z. Of with respect to the new coordinates, some of the that are given by Vrovnitko, Vix, Ypsilon, Z. Rovnitko, Vix, X plus Vipsilon, E, Ypsilon plus Z, Z. Rovnitko, T1, Vix, Ypsilon, Z. From this equation, one sees that the new coordinates are given by Vx, Vy, Vz equals T, Vx, Vy, Vz. As a passive transformation, T transforms the old coordinates into the new ones. Note the equivalence between the two kinds of transformations. The coordinates of the new point in the active transformation and the new coordinates of the point in the passive transformation are the same, namely Vx, Vy, Vz equals Vx, Vy, Vz. In abstract vector spaces, the distinction between active and passive transformations can be seen mathematically by considering abstract vector spaces. Fix a finite dimensional vector space V over a field K, thought of as R or C, and a basis B equals 
I1 less than or equal to I less than or equal to N of V. This basis provides an isomorphism C. KNV via the component map VI. 1 less than or equal to I less than or equal to N equals V1. Midline horizontal ellipsis VN. Sigma I V I E I backslash textile V underscore underscore 1 backslash like I backslash like in sad face V underscore 1 comma backslash dots V underscore backslash maps to backslash sum underscore IV underscore IE underscore I. An active transformation is then an endomorphism on V that is a linear map from V to itself. Taking such a transformation tau is an element of NV. A vector V is an element of V transforms as V tau V. The components of tau with respect to the basis B are defined via the equation tau EI equals sigma J tau J I EJ backslash textile backslash tau E underscore equals backslash sum of A backslash tau then the components of V transform as V I tau I J V J. A passive transformation is instead an endomorphism on K N. This is applied to the components V I T I J V J equals V I. Provided that T is invertible, the new basis B equals e is determined by asking that V I E I equals V I E I, from which the expression E equals T minus one J I E J can be derived. Although the spaces N V and N K N are isomorphic, they are not canonically isomorphic. Nevertheless, a choice of basis B allows construction of an isomorphism. As left and right actions often one restricts to the case where the maps are invertible, so that active transformations are the general linear group GLV of transformations while passive transformations are the group GL and K. The transformations can then be understood as acting on the space of bases for V. An active transformation tau is an element of GL V sends the basis e, I tau EI. Meanwhile, a passive transformation T is an element of GL NK sends the basis I sigma J T minus one J I E J backslash textile backslash understand backslash backslash map stow. Backslash left backslash backslash some underscore a t caret dash one a backslash right backslash the inverse in the passive transformation ensures the components transform identically under tau and t. This then gives a sharp distinction between active and passive transformations. Active transformations act from the left on bases, while the passive transformations act from the right due to the inverse. This observation is made more natural by viewing bases B as a choice of isomorphism phi B, VKN. The space of bases is equivalently the space of such isomorphisms, denoted ISO, V, KN. Active transformations, identified with GL, V, act on ISO, V, KN, from the left by composition, while passive transformations, identified with GL, N, K, acts on ISO V, K, N, from the right by precomposition. This turns the space of bases into a left GL, V, torsor and a right GL, N, K, torsor. From a physical perspective, active transformations can be characterized as transformations of physical space, while passive transformations are characterized as redundancies in the description of physical space. This plays an important role in mathematical gauge theory where gauge transformations are described mathematically by transition maps which act from the right on fibers.